and so continuing on with using the best and worst character in any given attribute for today's video we're here to tackle the best and worst speed character and when it comes to the best speed character in the game quite frankly you can go with four different characters any of these four are perfectly serviceable in my opinion i think macy is the best speed character in the game having said that though we've already showcased macy multiple times over the last two or so weeks i don't want to do another macy showcase and since we're taking the characters into inheritance trials i thought it'd be best just to take out tenses and get to because if we're already looking at inheritance trials and only this particular mode then of course you know tenta is gonna be the best here and again, like i said i would showcase macy but we've already done it so many times this week right i don't want to do it just another macy showcase but you know what tenta is still an amazing character still the go-to best speed character for inheritance trials and you can see it here right we are in single player it but this character has 100 more damage to enemies not afflicted by an ailment and he has pierce iron skin so he's just like the perfect character to use in any inheritance trials and we gave him long stride you can see that only one out of five this man has no problems going through content let's use that soul bomb though <laughs> Pretty cool Sobum. Would have loved though if he actually kept the hood on throughout the entire game playing. Tensor is the character that doesn't care about killer. Inheritance Charles is basically his playground. And in this case, for our very first attempt, not knowing really where the spawns are because IG literally just changed over, we cleared in just 33 seconds. That's really good. But now let's compare that to the worst character in the attribute. All right then, so for the worst character, I chose to go with the original OG version of Soifon. We of course did work on her, so she does have level 10 SP T20 link shots. And for bonus bonuses, we chose to give her long stride and also full stamina damage, which is actually pretty good. She is a Soifon, so she gets the extra bit of Flash steps. Now, in this case, we are now going against a Ronka enemy. So we don't have to be a tad bit careful against these particular mobs, the spinning of Ronkas, because they can be quite deadly. Now, damage output obviously isn't really the greatest here. We can't inflict any stat elements, and the range is terrible. So we're going to slowly... We haven't missed the SA1. Oh, my God. <laughs> we are slowly but surely going to be going through this. Look at that SA2. That felt powerful. I actually remember using this character quite a bit when she first came out. Which at the time was actually the race of the game, right? At the start of the game, we didn't have six stars. Only five stars were available. And a funny story how I actually got this character. I actually did a random single on a speed-only banner. And the hope was to get Grimjow. Grimjow was one of the best characters in the game at the point in time. And unfortunately, I ended up walking with a Siphon. I was hoping to get a five star because at that time, five stars were rare. We didn't have that many orbs in the game. Rates were only 3%. It was hard to get a five star. So I was actually happy to get her. But at the same time, she was regarded as one of the worst characters in the game. And we took damage, unfortunate. Yeah, these enemies are going to be terrible to do with oh my god but her and more so yorubichi even chad were deemed as you know just bad characters because they don't have the greatest range on their strong attacks or nad string and at least in yorubichi and soifon's case they don't have a soul bomb you'll see here when we use her soul bomb it's actually just a transformation move not only a transformation but they do their shunko form it's kind of cool and this was basically the groundwork for transformation characters on release right we knew eventually we would get transforming characters because this essentially is a transformation if you want to look at it like that and fun fact about this because she doesn't actually have a hit on her soul bomb the soul bomb itself only activates her shunko form if you actually get duped to this character or if you use a tension tie it actually extends the length of that transformation it's kind of cool but this is the like only few characters that do it because even though we have transformation characters in the game their initial hit does damage so the tension tie or any extra effect you get from getting duped to the character it goes into the initial hit not the actual transformation that was one thing i personally tested when we first got our actual first transformation character that being bankai kenpachi i wanted to see if a tension tie or a dupe will actually increase the length of that transformation unfortunately they did not would have been cool though because staying in the transform state for longer than 30 seconds would actually be a, a nice quality of life usually that's the more fun part of any transform character not of the soy phone though because we only got like a white flare we had a, a bit extra focus attacking sp i believe i think it's just a boost move on a soul bomb so i believe it was just an extra 33 percent attack focus and defense which isn't really doing much for us here but i'll tell you what this feels ultimately worse maybe it's the enemies we're going against when we used odu like two weeks ago it wasn't that bad it really wasn't but soy phone Man, this just feels terrible. Probably ultimately comes down to the fact that we don't have a soul bomb too. You know, any SP level 10 character, T20 would be able to do a decent amount of damage with their soul bomb. At least clear two waves, right? We missed with the SA1. That SA1 has terrible range. <laughs> Even the SA3, but you know what? I'm a master with this SA3. I remember, again, using this character quite a bit when the game first came out. She was one of my go-tos, her and Yoroishi. And I knew, and it always felt good, actually, using that SA3 on a bunch of enemies. Now, you know, the satisfaction isn't really there anymore. We get that from full screen strong attacks, nuke an entire room. But I believe we're in the last room, right? 
I cleared so fast at 10, so I didn't really keep track of how many, you know, rooms there were. Or more so how many waves are in each room, right? But I'm pretty sure we're coming to a close here. All right, let's just nan up this mob right here. We have the long stride. Soifun is a Soifun character. She is past the stealth corpse. But we do have the extra flash steps, right? I believe she has four built in. Which is still really cool fan service for a character like this. But just Soifun, you'll reach in general. I think or Mida too. They just have naturally built in extra flash steps, which is always cool to see. These were technically the first characters to have innate abilities that weren't really innate abilities. And there's more waves. There we go. Look at that combo. Look at that combo. I feel like I'm playing like a fighting game. This is a different gameplay with Soifun. All right. Beautiful SA3. Look at that. Yeah, that feels good. That feels good. That feels good. There's another way. There's a whole other room. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is infinitely. I don't know if the IT's now got some harder. It is maybe a bigger map. I don't know. But with Uryu, we cleared significantly faster than this. And this is a worked on character, right? We have Mac Transcendental Links on her. Level 10 SP. T20 Link Slots. Granted, we did lose a bit of full stamp from the bonus ability, but that isn't really speeding up the process that we are going through this quest, right? I think it's more so we have to be a tad bit careful here. These mobs can have a lot of range to them. A lot of range to them. But what damage are we actually looking at? 1k on our, on our SA3? <laughs> What's the SA1? 2.4k? That's huge. Oh my god. The 7th anniversary or you could never, bro. Tensa could never. Macy could never. But I gotta say, we haven't been frozen yet, so I'm actually, ooh, pretty happy about that at the very least. And we haven't died. We haven't died. Ah, oh, there's another wave. Come on. So we're doing decent. We're not clearing fast, but we're doing decent. I remember the rule that we had here is that if we do... Oh, one more hit and we're dead, actually. If we do die, we can revive, but we only have three revives. But I guess in this case, since we've now actually worked on the character, got them to T20, level 10 SP, we would probably have to reset if we actually ended up dying. But with that, we should be in the final room. Yes, we are. How are we going to do with this? Okira, do you have a charge move? Please do, because then we can get away. The bosses usually aren't the worst. Ooh. You know, we have long strike. We shouldn't be too bad. Let's transform, though. Come on. Shonko, there we go, SA3, back up, ah, okay, we dodged it, oh my god, there we go, and then last one, kick to the face, never mind, we missed, <laughs> we do, we put Okira down, there we go, Soifon has officially beaten IT, probably the first person to ever do that, I don't know, let me know in the comments below if you defeated IT with this particular Soifon, surely there isn't that many people out there that are crazy enough to do what we just did, but, Wow, look at that clear time difference. Eight minutes. Eight minutes with a character that's actually been worked on. That's surprising. You know, the last two that we did where the characters were worked on to the max almost, they cleared in like four minutes, three minutes time. Soifun definitely is the worst character we've probably showcased thus far. And had we worked on the other characters that we used, like the Renji or Orihime, for example, they got like 17, 15 minute clear time. We probably would get a very similar clear time if this Soifun was only T10. No SP investment. So, wow, look at the difference, lads. There you go. Use one of the best characters in the game, the best for inheritance trials. You have 10 star clearing in under 40 seconds, regardless of the killer, regardless of even inflicting star ailments. And then you have someone like Soifon, who's just able to get a sub eight minute clear time. You love to see it. But with that said, lads, that was basically the series, right? Using the best and worst character in any given attribute. As I did mention, I'm going to look into doing other things similar to this, using the best and worst Ichigo, best and worst character in any given year. So, tune in next week where we're going to try it again. I have no idea which one I'm going to do. We'll see when the time does come. With that said, hope you liked and enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.